Today we're hearing from San Diego Police Chief David Nislight on the dangers police canines encounter on a regular basis. This after their one of their own canines was shot and killed last week. CBS 8's Kelly Hestall joins us live from Mount Hope with what the chief had to say this morning. Kelly. That's right. You know, we've certainly had police dogs that have been stabbed or have been hurt over the years, but the last time that one actually died in the line of duty was back in 1994. So this is fortunately a rare occurrence, but certainly one that hits deep within the department. Well, the community feels this too. I mean, you know, the, the outreach and the support, the outpouring support that we've seen uh, since her passing uh, tells you about the importance of police dogs and how people value police dogs in general public. They understand the, the, the role the dog has in keeping them safe. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we were there as some of the handlers did drills with some of the police canines. Uh, you know, these are dogs with a, an extensive amount of training, as you heard uh, the chief talk about there. Losing one affects uh, people in the community, uh, but certainly in the department. Uh, the canine or the police canine unit that is is made up of 33 police dogs and their handlers. Sir was shot and killed last week uh, while trying to help detain a suspect. He was a four and a half year old Belgian Malinois. And according to Chief Nislight, uh, Sir was wearing a bulletproof vest. Uh, they all wear them, but unfortunately he was shot in a spot that was not covered. Now he had only been on the job a year and a half. His handler had only been with the unit a year and a half. Uh, this was his handler's first police canine. So as you can imagine, it is really tough. Here's what acting lieutenant of this canine unit, Luis Carvajal, told us. We're with these police dogs all the time, 24-7. They come to work with us 40 hours a week, and now they go home with us as well, so we're kind of a pet at home as well. So all that time we spend together, is that we developed that special bond. So losing, it's pretty much like losing a partner. And he says that all the dogs are just like people. They have their own personality. So it really does take time to develop that special bond. Now, coming up new at 4 o'clock tonight, uh, Police Chief Nislight weighs in on a bill that would have severely limited the use of police canines in the state of California. We'll have that part of the story for you all new at 4 o'clock. Kelly Hessen, all CBS 8.